Okay, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. This is the American remake that literally came out a couple years after. I think it's a, the Swedish version. Very, very similar to the Swedish version. I will say one thing they did like is that the disc actually looks like it's a, I think it's a the Sony DV, DV, DVD Plus R disc. And it has like handwritten on there in Sharpie. Interesting. I like the fact they actually did that to give it a little more kind of like an underground feel to it. That having been said, Daniel Craig, really good job. I thought he did a fantastic job in the in his role. However, the girl they got to play, such as the girl with the dragon tattoo, the main female uh, protagonist, she she didn't seem to be as good as the one they had in the Swedish versions. And for me, that really kind of hurt the film. I mean, the film was shot beautifully. This was a very good. Very good, very good remake. It's just with a lot of the the performance hinged entirely on that character. She was good, and I think had I not seen the Swedish version, I would have loved this version. However, the Swedish version just seemed to have so much more going for it. Just the way that it was shot, some of the different ways people took took their characters. You know, and I can understand why this one didn't do as well, and why they probably won't do the the next two books. So it makes you kind of wonder why would they not just tweak the original versions and release them here in the States instead of spending millions of dollars to make an American remake, which is very good, but just does need to have the same amount of punch that, that the original has.